Hey guys, Selenu here from PlayToEarn.net. Welcome back to our weekly blockchain gaming news series. Every week, we bring you the latest updates from the exciting world of blockchain gaming. Whether it's game releases, teasers, or industry news, we've got you covered. In today's episode, we're diving into the game updates of the week. From new features to bug fixes, you won't want to miss what's been going on in the blockchain gaming scene. So grab a snack, sit back, and get ready to be updated on the latest in blockchain gaming. To start off our list, Army of Tactics launches in closed beta. Here's how to get a spot. Army of Tactics, an auto-battler game by former Supercell developers, is now in closed beta testing. An additional 1,000 beta spots are currently available until June 24th or while supplies last. Interested players can get a beta spot by completing activities on the game's Galaxy page. So far, almost 700 spots have been claimed, so there are around 300 left. It is also important to note that only the iOS beta version is available for now. After completing the required tasks and clicking participate, users will get a beta invite email within a week. Those granted beta access can download the iOS game and begin the tutorial. They can then request the AOT tester role on Discord. Army of Tactics is the first auto-battler and Web3 game set in the Army of Fortune metaverse. Made by Clash of Clans developers, in this game, players build and command armies. Players can unlock and level up different units to battle and climb the leaderboards. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the AOT gameplay video below. Up next, Dream Quest NFT adds new Origins game mechanics. Dream Quest NFT has introduced two new gameplay features for the Origins game, Extraction and Charging. These features add depth and customization, helping players unlock their NFT's full potential. Extraction lets players harness the hidden power within their NFTs. Players can get resources or traits from their NFTs and apply them to other NFTs. This opens up possibilities, enabling players to make more powerful and unique assets. Players can strategically pick NFTs for extraction to get specific abilities, enhancements, or attributes. This allows customization based on players' preferred style or strategy. On the other hand, charging further improves NFT progression and evolution. Players can infuse NFTs with extra energy or power using charging to unlock or improve abilities. This allows NFTs to grow and adapt, giving each asset more uniqueness. Through charging, players can enhance their NFT's capabilities, making them stronger in battles, quests, or challenges. This rewards players' investments in their NFTs and adds strategy. Careful planning can maximize each NFT's potential through charging. Origins extraction and charging mechanics create a dynamic, ever-changing experience. Players can customize and optimize their NFTs, ensuring individuality and progression. The ability to extract valuable traits and power up NFTs adds excitement to the Dreams Quest NFT universe. Liking this list so far? Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you're always updated with games that you love. And now let's get straight back to the list. Um, next, Avagachi is back with its flagship play to event, Rarity Farming Season 6. Avagachi has launched Rarity Farming Season 6 after making changes to its metaverse. In this event, players compete for ghost tokens by making their gachi NFTs as rare as possible. Like Season 5, this event has 1.5 billion ghost prize pools split among top players. The 8-week event has 4 2-week rounds. The first round has already started, with a snapshot expected at June 29th at 2pm UTC. The competition criteria remains the same, with players competing in rarity, kinship, and XP categories. 70% of ghost payouts go to rarity, 20% to kinship, and 10% to XP. Players can equip rareable NFTs to boost rarity or pet their gachis twice daily for kinship. Those climbing the XP leaderboard must do activities that grant XP. These include voting in the DAO, attending events, playing minigames, or using XP potions. Users only need one gachi to join Season 6. If they lack an Abogachi, they can borrow one through gachi lending. Ghost rewards will then be split according to their agreed ratio. For more details, you can check out their official post. Um, next. Axie Infinity Homeland Alpha Season 3 begins with new PvP feature, Spy X. Axie Infinity's Homeland Alpha Season 3 has officially launched last June 21st. Players can now compete for up to 5,000 AXS tokens and leaderboard rewards until July 26th. In addition to the governance tokens, players also have a chance to earn new seasonal achievements, badges, plot decorations, and limited time avatars. An important new feature this season is called Spy X. Spy X allows players to steal leaderboard points from each other using sneaky ragoons. Ragoons are creatures that you can send as spies to opponents' lands. First, you locate the plot you want to spy on, and then click a button to choose which ragoons to send that you think will blend in the best. If an opponent unknowingly uses your ragoon, the battle points they earn will actually go to you instead, since they used your spy. However, others can also do this to you, so you must be careful when choosing your adventurers. If you think you've found a spy, you can pay a fee to investigate the character. If they really are a spy, you can expel them from your plot. Along with this new feature, land delegation is also now available. This lets landowners delegate their plots to other players, giving new players without land a chance to play and participate in Season 3. For more details, you can check out the trailer thread below, as well as the official post linked in it. And lastly, Phantom Galaxy's beta welcomes the second batch of players. 
Phantom Galaxies, a mecha web 3 game by Blowfish Studios, has expanded its beta test to more players. Anyone holding a Planet Genesis Mint Pass or the hopeful NFT can now access the beta and join friends of Zoran on new missions. In addition to replaying Ensign's past adventures and using features from Beta 1, players can explore the first PvE multiplayer mode across the Typhon and Medusa maps in space and use a new bounty terminal near the Starfighter console to complete bounties, earn credits, and defeat enemies. The beta also features a new Assault Mega body, bug fixes, and quality of life improvements. It is important to note that Cohort 2 has some minor issues like duplicate missions and missing weapon reticles, but these will not affect progress. To join the beta, holders of a Genesis Planet, The Hopeful, or Zoran's Favors NFT need to link their crypto wallet to the beta page. This generates a unique access code to download the beta. However, the game is currently only accessible for Windows. A macOS version will come later. To learn more about what's in store for Phantom Galaxies and how you can take part, you can check out their official post. And that's a wrap for today's news video. Join me again tomorrow for more exciting developments and news in the world of blockchain gaming, where we'll be diving into the latest sneak peeks, teasers, and announcements. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.